In my last video, I talked about drawing with the pencil tool in Adobe Illustrator on the iPad, which is how I drew these smooth and simple organic shapes. Now I want to talk about editing those paths that you draw with the pencil tool. So I'm going to zoom in here. And when you select a path like this with the selection tool, Illustrator treats this as a whole object with options to change its opacity and its stacking order, etc. To get down to the anchor point level, I have to use the direct selection tool. And then I have options to edit these anchor points. Now, if I want to continue drawing, adding onto this path with the pencil tool, now that I have the anchor points available, I can grab the pencil tool and then just tap and drag to continue drawing this line. And you can see there's a lot of anchor points on this path, maybe a few more than I need. So I'll go back and get the direct selection tool and just click on a single anchor point. And in these editing options here, I want to talk about this little X right here, which is Smart Delete. So when you have an anchor point selected, you can see this one is blue, and you tap on Smart Delete, Illustrator removes it and keeps the path close to its original shape. So it's nice to go through and just select individual anchor points and Smart Delete them without having to change the path too much. You can do more than one point at a time. So with the direct selection tool, I can sort of marquee select a few points here and then tap the Smart Delete. Another way to select more than one anchor point at a time is to use the touch shortcut. So just the first stage, the center of the touch shortcut, then you can select a few anchor points like that and then click Smart Delete. So as we know, there's an inner ring and an outer ring with this shortcut. So if I go to the outer ring and select an anchor point, I can just move it and slide it along the path. So in my previous video, I demonstrated how you can use these options to convert an anchor point. And so if you have a smooth anchor point and you have it selected, you can convert it to a corner point. If you have a corner point selected, you can convert it to a smooth point. And you can do either one just by using a double tap on any anchor point. Now I'll just select the whole path here and use the trash icon to delete it. Now let's check out some other options for editing anchor points. I'll get my direct selection tool and this time I'm just going to select one anchor point and then go here to the cut path option. And when I cut the path, Illustrator switches me to the selection tool. And so the path is selected as a whole and you can move the two resulting paths separately. To join these back together, get the direct selection tool. And I'm zooming in a little bit here. And if you select the two endpoints, and you use this join path option, I'll tap on that and you can see Illustrator puts a straight line segment in between those two anchor points. Now, if you actually just wanted to join these two anchor points back together, you can just grab one, put it over the other one, and then while it's selected, just hit Smart Delete. And that removes the other anchor point and just keeps the line flowing in the same direction. Now, one thing we wanna do here is what I have is a corner point. And I know this because I can see that corner widget. This is a square point. Smooth points have these little round indicators. Corner points are square. So I know this is a corner point and I'd like it to be a smooth point. So I'm just gonna double tap on it and that converts it into a smooth point. Now we've been talking about anchor points. Here's another thing. So I have a smooth point here and you can actually select individual handles. So you can see they turn blue when I select each end of the handle. So with this handle selected here, I can smart delete it and it gives me a corner point. I'll just undo that. And I can also just use the trash icon to get rid of that handle. Now I've got a corner point. I'll just double tap again to turn that back into a smooth point. Another shortcut for working with handles, you can see I have a smooth point with handles on either side. And when I use the inner ring of the touch shortcut, 
I can break those handles and have curve handles on either side of a corner point. Now, if I use the outer ring and work with that handle, the handles are matched and they turn this point back into a smooth point and they work in tandem. So you can lengthen the handles equally on both sides. So the last option that we haven't talked about yet is simplifying the path. So this is another option that you have available when you're working with the direct selection tool and you select a number of your anchor points here. You can see this icon here is simplify path. And if I tap on it, it just removes any anchor points, I guess that illustrator sort of sees as being unnecessary. Now, one thing I notice about simplify path is that there are places where you used to have smooth points and they've turned into corner points. These little square indicators here are showing corner points. When we see the round points here, those are indicating smooth points. So there may be some points that you're going to want to go back into and either double tap on them to turn them back into smooth points, or maybe let's see if we can marquee select a few of them here. Let's try that and then convert them to smooth points that works like that. So it's just something to be aware of when you're using simplify path. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned a few tips for editing anchor points and paths and curve handles using the direct selection tool in Illustrator on the iPad. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and be sure to like this video. My name is Laura Coyle and thank you for watching.